Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are my 20 must have apps on a Nexus device. So guys, the list is common for Nexus 6 or Nexus 6P or 5X or older versions of Nexus. So guys, let's get started. So the first three apps are the Google Apps, that is Google Keep, Google Photos and Google Inbox. So I really like those apps and I definitely have it on every one of my devices. So do check them out. I use Google Keep, which is this. So guys, this is Google Keep and you can store information. You can add quick tasks or quick notes on it. So just give it a try. And I would suggest you to use this only for small information or small sets of information. And if you want to store large amount of information, I would suggest you to use Evernote or OneNote. So the next app is Google Photos, which automatically uploads all your photos to the Google server on Picasa. And it creates new stories and movies from your uploaded images. So it's really nice. So just give it a try. So the next app in the list is the Google Inbox, which is an alternative for the Gmail. But what it actually does is it filters out all your emails using some AI and it will only show you some important messages and mails. It has a very nice UI and it has something new built to it, something called as auto reply mode. So when I press reply, based on the content, it gives me some hints or quick responses. So I don't have any personal mail. Okay, one, I have it over here. So this is my friend and he has sent me some message and inbox is providing me with some responses. Will do. Thanks a lot. Will do. Thanks. So all I need to do is simply press on the response and send to reply to the email. So it might be a small thing, but they did a lot of work to get it through. So guys, the next app in our list is Power Toggles. There is another app called as Notification Toggles, but I but I would prefer this over that just because of its view. And Notification Toggles hasn't been really updated lately. So these are your Notification Toggles and you can change them to whatever you want. So instead of going to these toggles, I usually use one of these toggles. So guys, do give it a try. The next app in our list is touchpal which is my favorite keyboard let me just show you a quick demonstration so here we have the touchpal keyboard and if i simply swipe on these letters i can enter the numbers and normal gestures works and normal swipe works and if i press and hold the spacebar it will take me to this google and now if I want to delete any one of these words, I can simply swipe back to delete the last word. Simply swipe again. So there you have it. Very easy to use. And one of its best feature is inbuilt navigation. So I guess you can see the cursor moving. You can select and select the things that you want to copy. And once it is highlighted, press this button to copy the data. And next you can select all the text and copy or else you can do all and cut and paste and you have an inbuilt clipboard manager over here these are my last 10 clipboard items and if you want to have more than 10 you need to have a premium account or a pro version so they have it the touch palettes which is my favorite app since maybe years so guys, the next app is the cam scanner, which is basically a document scanner. It takes a picture of any document and it enhances the text so that you get this nice crisp image. So just give it a try. And next we have media players, VLC and MX player. I use MX player most frequently, but if I want to watch any video in slow motion, then I go for VLC. Well, usually when I'm watching fast paced action sequences I use VLC player so the next app is GSM battery monitor just in case if you want to monitor your battery like how fast it is draining or charging or which apps are consuming more battery on your device this is my number one app and if you have a rooted device I would suggest you to use better battery stats that's also nice actually I use both of them together 
so anyway going on next we have swipe pad let me just quickly give you a demonstration when I swipe from any of the edges actually these two edges I get this quick shortcuts which I've already configured so these are like my top frequently used apps so whenever I want to access any one of those I'll simply swipe from the edge and I have access to this I must say even though this is a very nice app I had issues with this particular app that is a swipe pad I don't know why but on my note 3 whenever I have this app installed it used to the phone used to get really slow so I never used it on that device but on Nexus I had no problem just observe your device when you install this app and if you feel like your phone is getting slower or it feels a little off just uninstall it so the next app is ES file explorer which again is not just an explorer it does tons of stuff just for starters or the most important feature or the most important features that I use it for is obviously for file transfer and accessing files I use it to transfer files from one Android device to another over Wi-Fi just by using this particular application and you have other tons of stuff like you can access your cloud storages you can create a remote manager or an FTP server you can access your shared files in the network you can do a lot of stuff so do give it a try the next app in our list is Pi Control, which basically gives you Pi controls on your Nexus without any root permissions. So for a huge device like Nexus 6, it might be really handy. So let's just give it some time until it loads up. Let's go to the next app. This is the Timely app, which is a very beautifully looking alarm, stopwatch and a timer. So just give it some try. And next let me quickly show you the pi controls so here is my pi so over here i have the back button home recent and these are my top three frequently used apps so guys going on next we have uc browser so guys this is the uc browser and it has some nice gestures like when you swipe right you go back when you swipe left you go forward let's say i open the link and now if I want to go back then I simply swipe right and I go to the previous page so very nice feature very nice gestures and it comes with an ad blocker pre-installed so just give it a try you would definitely like it and as an alternative you can also try Firefox using an ad blocker plugin and it works way better than UC browser so the next app is a voice recording app uh, I don't really remember the name but I'll add it in the description area below this video. It's a very simple and beautiful looking app used for voice recording and it has an option to back up your voice recordings directly to your Dropbox. So do give it a try. So the next app is Pushbullet and for people who don't know what it is using this particular app you can share links between your Android device and your Google Chrome and even Windows. So basically you can share information like links, text, images and files under 25 MB with your friends or between your devices. I think Apple has such a feature inbuilt but Android doesn't. So on any Android device push bullet is a must have app. So the next app in our list is quick pick. So it basically is a gallery app but it's really fast and it has this nice option that is show in map and when I select that option it, it basically shows me the location where I have taken that picture well as of this picture it doesn't have any location information so I can't open it on a map but I have other images which I can open just say I have some image and I want to know where I clicked it using that particular app I can know well there are other apps you can do this well there are many other apps that can do the same but this is probably the only app which is a really good gallery app and also does and also provides you the location information apart from that it also has many features just give it a try so the next app in our list is adroid which is like a pc suit you can use to transfer files between your pc and the phone over the wi-fi so pretty cool app you can access your call logs contacts messages you can back up all of those and even restore them so the next app in our list is an app dialer which is like a phone dialer but it searches for apps 
So let's say I want to open Play Store. All I need to do is press P L A Y, and I have the Play Store over there. Let's say I want to open MX Player. So M X, and there I have it. So let me open App Dialer. So there we have it. So it's one of the fastest way to open apps. And if you have a better app than this, do let me know. And let me rephrase that. If you have a better app and a simple looking app than this, do let me know. So guys, the next app on our list is Link Bubble. So let me just give you a quick demonstration. So this is my Google page and I have some links over here. Let me just quickly open some. So what actually happens is whenever you open a link, it opens in a browser and you are taken away from this app and you basically have to wait for the browser to load the web page. But as you can see, whenever I click these links, it didn't take me to the browser because this bubble loading the web pages in the background. So if I click on it, it will show me the web pages. So as you can see, it is still loading this particular page. Okay, it's loaded now. I can simply swipe or browse through the website all in the presence of the Google app. And let me tell you, this is not a very light application. It's very CPU intensive. So don't use it very frequently or don't open multiple tabs. So guys, going on next, we have something called as CalQ. So the only reason why I use this particular calculator app is because it has history information. So whenever I do some calculation, it saves it up. So that's the only reason I use it. And next we have Textra, which is a messaging app. So these are my messages. I can customize the look of the application. And it has some nice, it has some nice features like blacklist i can even stop alerts from a particular contact and there is also an option to mark all messages as read so if you have a couple of messages and if you don't want to manually open them to make it as read you can simply use this option to mark all messages as read so a nice feature the next app is disk usage which gives you a graphical representation of the files occupying space on your internal or external storage so let me just give you this so it just gave me how my files are allocated so this is not the actual representation i have to select this so there you have it so as you can see i have this titanium backup folder and it's occupying a lot of space on my device now i can choose to delete it from over here i can say which file in this folder is occupying a lot of space so I can do all these kinds of cool stuff in a very interactive way so the next app is true caller which gives me information about unknown callers so let me just enter some random number okay that's way too long now let me search for that and it actually gave me a name so if you want to find out any unknown numbers this is a really nice app and when you get a call from any unknown number you get a pop-up with their name if you are having an internet connection so the next app in our list is greenify which is used to stop applications running in the background so i don't want applications like facebook messenger and these applications running in the background when the display is turned off usually because I don't want them to using up RAM or CPU resources. So I use this app to stop those applications or basically kill them. So this app works without root permissions, but with root permissions, it works a little better. So finally, we have an app called as Tasker, which is an automation app which requires root permissions. And with this app alone, you can do tons of customization. So you can create all kinds of triggers and make your device really work hard for you. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching this video. These are my top 20 apps on any Nexus device. I have ignored the media player and some similar stuff. But these are the things that I definitely want to have on my Nexus. So if you have any such app, do let me know by commenting below this video. And if you found this video to be helpful, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.